Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, the tutorial on how to uh, how I paint my uh, cabinets. Uh, this is where my uh, sinks at at the kitchen. As you see on the left hand side, it is the dishwashing uh, machine. So I already take out the hinges for my uh, for the door already. As you can see there over here, I take out the brass hinges. And as you can see, the screws are all rusted. So hopefully I'm going to clean it out and before I put it back. So I have uh, removed my doors already, as you can see. And this is uh, due to uh, water damage, it looks so nasty. I'm going to paint that as well. So anyway, I'm just going to wipe it down with the uh, vinegar and uh, like warm water. I'm not going to use like a harsh uh, <clears throat> solution. So after that, I'm going to let it dry and then uh, paint it uh, over with the light brown coat. All right. So let's uh, stay tuned for the next video. So I'll be using this uh, distilled uh, white vinegar and then uh, put in this uh, cup with the hot water and then mix it up and give a little wipe down, okay? So as you can see, I got my uh, wooden stick to stir up the paint. I also got my uh, paint brush. Now this one I bought it from 19, I mean, uh, Dollar Tree store. This is a three inch one. Yeah, so also got this uh, three piece uh, paint brush. Got a one inch, uh, one point five inch, and two inch. And this one I got it from a ninety nine cent store. And this is what the paint is gonna look like. This color, like light brown, by uh, Olympic. I got this from uh, Lowe's. This is the paint uh, plus uh, primer. Okay, and they pre-mix uh, the custom uh, mix uh, the color for you, whatever color that you want. Originally, this was uh, twenty-seven ninety-nine uh, per gallon, so I bought five gallon. They didn't have it in stock, so they gave me for twenty-three ninety-nine, which turned out to be one hundred nineteen dollars. So I'm gonna paint all my cabinets uh, to make it more modernized or up to date. Okay. So I got my bowl here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of uh, vinegar in there. And then uh, mix it with my hot water, it just come up from the coffee maker. It is pretty hot, so I gotta be careful. And I'm just gonna start wipe on, uh, wiping down with the sponge. Hopefully I'm not gonna burn my fingers or whatever. It's better to wear a glove. All right, so let's go ahead and start it. I got my glove on, ready, get ready to get dirty. I'm gonna pull out the uh, the floor mat.
Okay, so uh, after I finish uh, wiping down everything right now, so I'm going to uh, mask around my uh, dishwasher and then around the edges of the drywall on the left and right hand side. And we should start uh, painting after that. I'm going to let it dry it up after I mask it. All right. Alright guys, so we are ready to paint, so I got lazy and then I just uh, used a cardboard on the floor and then I'm going to use this as a guide for me to separate the dishwasher and the wood so it won't uh, paint it over to the dishwashing machine It'll be looking like this Alright So I don't waste my time to... I'm going to do that on the other side for the wall as well so we're going to go ahead and then uh, start mixing the paint right now. Yeah. Get my screwdriver. So I got a screwdriver uh, in case you had a paint uh, can opener. It'll be easier for you. But basically it's the same thing as a flathead. Whoa. All right. Let's see. You got my, I got my paint right here. Oh, you cannot see. I just open it right now. I'm gonna use this uh, wood stick to stir up. Mix it. Make sure you mix it well. Probably for about a minute. You want to make sure you stir up the bottom and everywhere all around it. To mix it well. Or else your paint is going to look uh, unfinished mix. So I'm going to use a 2 inch uh, for the left hand side I'm going to wear a plastic uh, glove I don't want to paint to go over on my fingers I got my plastic glove right here Let's, uh, we should start on that side then, since the camera is aiming at the end. Uh, well, I'll just right here then. So I'm going to start from top to bottom. Let's give it a little light coat first.
Alright, so this is the first code, and we're gonna continue the second code.